Welcome everybody to Friday. I know it gets pretty exciting, although I gotta say time is getting mushy for me. So is it Monday, is it Friday, is it Thursday, what number day? So I have to keep looking, it's June 5th and it is very much a Friday. Welcome, um, today we are gonna, we're trying, what I'm trying to do is because I get asked a lot or more increasingly about how does Beyond Indigo do Beyond Indigo. I mean, we've been a virtual 100% base company since the get-go. So 100% of the time, over 100% of our life, well, how do we do this? How do? And, and, you know, we have some really, and I'm really proud of this, we, we have some amazing culture because we have amazing people working for us. And maybe that's where we're going to start. But we're going to start about culture today. But since... I kind of create the sandbox that everybody else makes the sand cancels in, so to speak, is what I what I say all the time is. It's really important for me, and I tell other CEOs of this, you gotta start with yourself. You gotta be comfortable with yourself, and that you gotta um, find out where your own weaknesses are and where your own beliefs are. But my belief system that I'm very strong about is, all the employees are human beings in Beyond Indigo. They are amazing people who bring great talents and untold depths to the table and that they shine every single day. And that's my lens I look through to help starting the culture. But before this, I'm like, okay guys, you gotta help me out. Like we've woven this tapestry called Beyond Indigo for so many years. What are the pieces over the years that we added to create this culture that where you go brag to your friends that, hey, I work with this great company. So with that started, does somebody want to say a nugget? You know, Alicia, oh, by the way, we have Alicia, Chris, and Elise, who are all here from the Beyond Indigo teams in all different parts of life, accounting, SEO, and client services, um, respectfully. So welcome. Again, um, do one of you want to start with a nugget of our culture or a piece of the tapestry that we've woven? Nobody? Alicia, you want to go first? Sure, sure I will go. Um, I think it, what has really been a revelation to me, having always worked in a, a brick and mortar office, usually in accounting or, or whatnot, is that being remote and working as a remote employee I've never been made to feel that way by Beyond Indigo. I've never been made to feel like I was just some person who sat out in the middle of nowhere and there was no sense of community or belonging or engagement. And a part of that I think is because Beyond Indigo provides us with the tools we need to communicate with each other, to feel connected and to really get work done. And I, I have the ability to, to ping another employee and say, hey, I have a super quick question. Can, can we meet on, on Zoom or on camera for three minutes? And bing, 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 we discuss it. It's done, it's taken care of. It's, it, Beyond Indigo makes it easy to feel like you are a part of this um, company and a part of really a family. And another thing too is that I appreciate that Beyond Indigo understands that this is a two-way street. Mm -hmm. and we treat people, I think, with a sense of grace in that, yes, I'm coming to work every day and I work hard and I give you my hours. I've also invited you into my home. So when I'm on camera, you're in my home. And whether my dog barks or the doorbell rings or the tea kettle whistles, that's okay. And I'm not penalized for it. You're in my home. Um, and I, I, I hope, I think that we all feel that way. We feel comfortable in allowing our company and our employees into our own private space. And in turn, that makes me feel supported that I can show up you know, in my living room with a, a 15 foot commute every morning and, and come to work and do my job. So it's really, um, I, I can't imagine working any other way. The, than the way I work today. I, 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 can't, I will never go back to the, to, the, to the brick and mortar space. That's awesome because it is, it is true. I mean, until you said it, you know, I, I, I just am so used to seeing all your smiling faces where you always sit in your homes, but it is your home, right? Or it is my home or it is where, or where we're at. Um, 
And I think we are a lot more, I mean, I personally believe that respect means treating you guys as who you are, not micromanaging and being kind of more casual. We're humans, we're trying to get through all of this, right? So Chris, you kind of had some good points too when we were discussing about this, about video and just being able to have some freedoms in your life. Yeah, so uh, kind of to jump off of what Alicia was saying, um, I, you know, my job before this was with a very large company uh, where we had, we were on 10 floors in a high rise. Uh, and, you know, despite being around other people on my floor, there were a lot of days where I did feel like I was kind of out on my own on that island. Um, there wasn't a strong sense of culture. Um, and here at Beyond Indigo, you know, one of the things that um, we've implemented over the years are uh, we have staff meetings twice a month. We, ha uh, we have uh, other, you know, internal meetings within our own departments uh, where we, you know, all get together and, you know, some of it's work-related talk, some of it's not, you know, it's, uh, it's, I know my coworkers, even though we're in different states, uh, better than I knew some of the coworkers that I worked with when we were, when I was in an actual building with them together. Um, so I think that has done a lot to help facilitate the, uh, the amazing culture that we have now. Um, and then another thing that is also amazing is the kind of family forward uh, focus, I guess, where, uh, you know, if, if I have to run my dog to the vet in the middle of the day, or if I have to take a family member to the doctor or something like that, I'm not gonna get penalized for that. Uh, you know, I can work that into my day uh, and it's, you know, it's nice to have that flexibility and, uh, you know, like Kelly, you were saying, we don't, you're, there's no micromanaging. So mm -hmm. without that, you know, added layer of unnecessary stress, um, it, uh, it, it does help, help, uh, help the culture and help, I think, me just work better. Fine. We're respecting you as a human being, that you have intelligence, and that you can make your own choices and decisions. You know, we also don't charge you PTO time to go to doctors and, or vet appointments or things like that. Like you said, you get to kind of manage your day. We want to know where you are, because what if we need you, you know, out of consideration, mutual respect for each other, in case there's a client or something. But it's not like, we even micromanage your times off. Like we say PTO for like chunks of time, like go away, get away from your computer. That that's what PTO is used for in my mind, right? So that's that's what we do there. And um, while we were speaking, I kind of had another cultural thing that at least I think you can speak to is, and we take this one for complete granted. Like we didn't even think of it, all of us, Alicia, but it kind of came up with you that we're in our own home we get to create our own space. Like where we work is our personality, right? We get to set it up the way we want, what we see, what we smell. Like I know a lot of us have candles burning all day long, you know, it may not be on the screen, but it, it's in our space. So um, Elise, like you've created your space. I mean, I always enjoy seeing your library behind you, so. I have. It's. Um, I don't know that too many people can say that the space they work in is their favorite space, um, but my office is my favorite space in my house. Um, I'm surrounded by books. I have bookshelves all the way around the room. Um, I sit next to a window and outside I have a fountain. So during the summer, I open that up. Um, my husband uh, took pity on me a couple of years ago because I missed my fountain so much during the winter um, living in Minnesota that he got me a small one for my office. So during the winter, I can run that. Um, I light a candle uh, most days. I have scared people a couple of times because during meetings, I'll light the match and they see smoke and don't know why, <laughs> why there's smoke on my screen. Um, but I think that 
be, I can't imagine, right? If I was in a brick and mortar space, uh, office um, with other people, they're probably not letting me light candles in my office or, you know, haul in my fountain <laughs> or those sorts of things. But it's a really, um, you know, I, I look around me and it's the things that um, make me more productive because it makes me feel like me. And it makes, you know, that I think it balances my personality too. So it's not just total work focus. I can have my inspiration shelf that I, you know, maybe I can see, but everybody else can't see. Um, and that is, um, is something I think is really unique and funny because we, as um, I think Kelly, you said it earlier, that you get really used to where everybody works. And so if one of us is in a different space, we're all like, wait, we can't start the meeting yet. What's going on? Like, where are you sitting? Let me see that. And I think we've all at some point like carried our computer around the house and been like, look at this thing or look at my flowers. And just how cool that is to be let into each other's lives much more so than I ever was with anyone I worked with when I wasn't working from home. And that's surprising, I think, to people. Totally. And the other thing that's, it's an unseen, not mentioned, which is one of the reasons why actually I started the company as a virtually based company. I'm dyslexic and I'm dyslexic, primarily audio, um, secondary visual, and all the noise in an office building, I can't, I can't, I can't process as well because I am hearing all sorts of conversations. Like I have hyper ear hearing and then weird stuff, and it's just becomes it becomes chaotic, right? And I can't function and I can't work. And so we also get to define what we hear, mm -hmm. right? Like when we're on meetings, we we don't have music going on, but we get to have our sound in our space. Mm -hmm. We get the type of lighting we want. We get to have the window open or not. And we get as much space because when I worked in New York City, I got a I, four feet would be generous. Maybe this much space is what my desk was in New York City. I had enough room to put a laptop down. And if I moved my elbows too far this way, I would hit my person to the left and person to the right. I had no space. So you kind of forget that. Too. And all of that is the basis is of setting up our culture because I, the whole goal is before that we fulfill ourselves as who we are as individuals so that we bring that essence and add it where each individual threads to the tapestry called Beyond Indigo. So that's all good. Well, these were all great tips for everybody today uh, and kind of what makes us us. And it's kind of fun to kind of think about it. Um, we are going to be taking a deeper dive into the meeting structure of Beyond Indigo for culture and what we bring to the table because that took some time. And so that we're going to have a whole Facebook Live coming up just on staff meetings because really that that helped weave our Beyond Indigo tapestry in, in a multicolored space. Um, yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you so much for everything today and your tips of wisdom. And we we really all hope this helps other people trying to figure out this life work from home cultural business. But cultural matters. And I'm going to end and say, or I'm going to argue, and I think all of you might agree, is that our culture is, like Chris said, stronger at being a virtual-based company than an in-person company. Right? We've had people who have forgotten they haven't met people in person. <laughs> right? Yes, I've met you. No, you haven't. You know, not physically. Um, you, you just, our bonds are tighter. We've made friendships where people travel across the country to meet somebody else on their PTO time. Mm -hmm. um, we just have all these things that have, that have kind of come out of it. So I'm grateful. So thank you all for being part of that tapestry that's being woven. All right, until later, everybody have a great weekend and thank you so much.